Shirley MacLaine, the actress with many of Hollywood's strangest and most eccentric roles, captured the hearts of millions of audiences in the 1950s. Introduced to acting from a very young age, it is no surprise that Shirley MacLaine achieved many great achievements in her career. However, Shirley's personal life is in stark contrast to her career. Having gone through many ups and downs, now, at the age of 89, Shirley bravely revealed her entire life in the past and present. To know more about Shirley, watch the video until the end. Shirley MacLaine Beatty, known to the world as Shirley MacLaine, came into the world during a time when the child actress Shirley Temple was gaining immense popularity, and her parents decided to name her after the famous young star. Her birth marked the beginning of a remarkable journey that would see her become a beloved actress and a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Shirley's family background was diverse and intriguing. Her father, Ira Owens Beatty, held a multifaceted career as a professor of psychology, a public school administrator, and a real estate agent. This blend of professions surely provided her with a unique perspective on life and human behavior. Her mother, Kathleen Corinne, originally hailing from Wolfville, Nova Scotia, Canada, was a drama teacher. This theatrical connection in her family would later prove to be a significant influence on Shirley's own career in the performing arts. Interestingly, Shirley had a famous sibling, her younger brother, Warren Beatty who went on to become a renowned actor, writer, and director. Warren chose to modify the spelling of their family name to Beatty for his career, distinguishing himself while still maintaining a connection to their heritage. Their upbringing was rooted in the Baptist faith as their parents raised them in the Baptist church. This early exposure to religion and spirituality would eventually play a significant role in Shirley MacLaine's life and beliefs. One notable member of Shirley's extended family was her uncle, A. A. McLeod, who was a communist member of the Ontario legislature in the 1940s. This political association in her family undoubtedly provided her with diverse perspectives and a deeper understanding of the world's complexities from an early age. Shirley's childhood was marked by several relocations as her family moved from Richmond to Norfolk and then to Arlington and Waverley. They eventually settled in Arlington, where Ira Beatty accepted a position at Thomas Jefferson Junior High School in 1945. These moves allowed Shirley to adapt to different environments and cultures, shaping her into the adaptable and resilient individual she would later become. During her childhood, Shirley MacLaine displayed her athletic prowess by playing basketball on an all-boys team. Her exceptional talent on the field earned her the nickname Powerhouse and demonstrated her determination and tenacity from a young age. This early experience of excelling in a traditionally male-dominated sport foreshadowed her future as a trailblazing woman in the male-dominated world of Hollywood. Throughout the 1950s, the family resided in the Dominion Hill section of Arlington, solidifying their connection to the community and the region. These formative years in Arlington undoubtedly played a pivotal role in shaping Shirley's character and values, setting the stage for her future as a prominent actress, author, and spiritualist. Shirley MacLaine's journey into the world of performing arts began at a very young age, as her mother recognized her interest in ballet and decided to enroll her in ballet classes at the Washington School of Ballet when she was just three years old. This decision proved to be pivotal in shaping her lifelong passion for the performing arts. As a toddler, Shirley faced the challenge of weak ankles, often stumbling with the slightest misstep. However, this physical setback didn't deter her. Instead, it became the driving force behind her determination to excel in ballet. She displayed an unwavering commitment to her craft, attending every ballet class without fail. In her early ballet training, Shirley often found herself cast in boys' roles during classical romantic pieces like Romeo and Juliet and Sleeping Beauty. Her height advantage over her fellow dancers and the absence of male students in the class led to this unique casting. Despite the unconventional roles, 
Shirley's dedication and enthusiasm shone through in her performances. One particularly memorable moment in her ballet journey was when she had the opportunity to play the substantial female role of the fairy godmother in Cinderella. However, fate had other plans, and just before the performance, Shirley experienced a significant setback. While warming up backstage, she suffered a broken ankle. Despite the excruciating pain, she displayed incredible resilience. Shirley MacLaine tightened the ribbons on her toe shoes and proceeded to dance the entire role before finally calling for an ambulance. This remarkable display of determination and devotion to her craft left a lasting impression on those who witnessed it. Despite her love for ballet, Shirley eventually realized that pursuing a career as a professional ballerina was not feasible. Her height became an obstacle, and she struggled to perfect her technique to the level required for professional ballet. She explained that her body didn't fit the ideal standards of ballet, lacking the beautifully constructed feet with high arches, high insteps, and a flexible ankle that were often prerequisites for success in the world of classical ballet. This realization, coupled with the understanding that ballet could be an all-consuming and ultimately limiting pursuit, led Shirley to explore other avenues in the performing arts. Her journey took her into the realms of dancing, acting, and musical theater, where she could express herself more freely and diversify her skills. During her high school years at Washington Lee High School, Shirley continued to engage in the world of entertainment. She was not only a part of the cheerleading squad, but also actively participated in school theatrical productions. These early experiences in high school marked the continuation of her artistic development and set the stage for the incredible career that would follow. During the summer preceding this significant milestone, she embarked on a life-changing adventure by venturing to New York City with the aspiration of pursuing a career in acting on Broadway. Her bold move to the epicenter of American theater was a courageous step for a young woman from Arlington, Virginia. In the bustling world of Broadway, Shirley experienced her first taste of success. She secured a place in the chorus of the legendary musical Oklahoma. This marked her initial foray into the spotlight, albeit in a supporting role. Her talent and determination were evident, even in the chorus, foreshadowing the promising career that lay ahead. After completing her high school education, Shirley MacLaine returned to New York City, where she continued her pursuit of a career in show business. This time, she found herself as a member of the dancing ensemble in the Broadway production of Me and Juliet, which ran from 1953 to 1954. This role allowed her to further hone her dancing skills and gain valuable experience in the heart of the theatrical world. Shirley's journey took an unexpected turn when she became an understudy to the accomplished actress Carol Haney in the hit musical The Pajama Game. It was during this time that fate intervened, forever altering the trajectory of her career. In May 1954, during a Wednesday matinee performance, Carol Haney sustained an ankle injury. Shirley MacLaine found herself thrust into the spotlight when she stepped in to replace her injured colleague. This impromptu performance showcased her talent and versatility, leaving a lasting impression on both audiences and industry insiders. A few months later, with Carol Haney still on the mend, Shirley MacLaine's star continued to rise when her remarkable performance caught the attention of film producer Hal B. Wallace. Recognizing her potential, Wallace wasted no time and signed her to work for Paramount Pictures. This significant breakthrough in the film industry marked the beginning of Shirley MacLaine's illustrious career in Hollywood. Shirley MacLaine's personal life is a fascinating chapter in her journey, marked by significant relationships, revelations, and a candid approach to love and partnership. In 1954, Shirley married businessman Steve Parker, and their marriage endured for nearly three decades until their divorce in 1982. This union resulted in the birth of their daughter, Sachi, who would become an integral part of her mother's life and story. However, 
Their family dynamic took an unexpected turn when, in her late twenties, Sachi learned a startling revelation from her mother. Shirley confided in her daughter that she believed an astronaut named Paul was Sachi's biological father, rather than Steve Parker. This revelation added a layer of complexity to their family history and raised questions about the paternity of Sachi. In April 2011, while promoting her book I'm Over All That, Shirley MacLaine opened up about her unconventional approach to relationships during her marriage to Steve Parker. She revealed to Oprah Winfrey that she and her husband had maintained an open relationship. This candid admission shed light on the dynamics of their marriage, challenging conventional norms and illustrating Shirley's willingness to explore non-traditional paths in her personal life. Shirley also disclosed a unique aspect of her professional life during her conversation with Oprah. She admitted that she often found herself developing romantic feelings for her leading men in the film industry. However, she noted that there were exceptions to this pattern, citing her working relationships with actors like Jack Lemmon in films such as The Apartment and Irma LaDuce, as well as Jack Nicholson in Terms of Endearment. These exceptions highlighted her ability to maintain professional boundaries in certain working relationships. Beyond her marriages and on-screen romances, Shirley MacLaine had intriguing and enduring affairs that captured public attention. One of the most notable was her long-running relationship with Lord Mountbatten, a prominent British statesman and naval officer whom she met in the 1960s. This relationship with a member of the British aristocracy added an element of intrigue to her personal life. Additionally, Shirley had a romantic involvement with Australian politician Andrew Peacock, who served as the leader of the Liberal Party in Australia on two occasions. Their relationship spanned years and brought an element of international intrigue to her love life. Shirley MacLaine's career in Hollywood was not without its share of controversies and conflicts, some of which involved her co-stars. One notable feud involved her co-star Anthony Hopkins during the making of A Change of Seasons. Hopkins famously described MacLaine as the most obnoxious actress I have ever worked with, highlighting the tensions that can arise on film sets when strong personalities clash. Another well-known feud in Shirley's career occurred with Deborah Winger during the filming of Terms of Endearment. While the film ultimately earned critical acclaim and both actresses received Academy Award nominations for their roles, their on-set conflicts were widely reported. The tension between McLean and Winger added a layer of complexity to the movie's portrayal of a strained mother-daughter relationship, as their real-life interactions mirrored the characters they portrayed on screen. In addition to her on-set controversies, Shirley McLean is known for her unconventional beliefs and spiritual interests. She has openly shared her belief that in a past life, she was the brother of a 35,000-year-old spirit named Ramtha. This belief is associated with J.Z. Knight, a mystic teacher and author who claimed to channel the ancient spirit. McLean's association with Knight and her claims about her past life experiences in Atlantis added an element of mysticism to her public image. Spirituality and metaphysics have been central themes in many of Shirley MacLaine's best-selling books, such as Out on a Limb and Dancing in the Light. These books delve into her personal explorations of these topics and provide insights into her philosophical and spiritual journey. McLean's willingness to share her beliefs and experiences with a broad audience has made her a prominent figure in the New Age and metaphysical communities. Her spiritual journey has taken various forms over the years. Shirley McLean has undertaken the Way of St. James, a renowned pilgrimage route in Spain known for its spiritual significance. She has also collaborated with Chris Griscom, a spiritual teacher and author, to further her understanding of metaphysical concepts. Additionally, McLean has practiced Transcendental Meditation, a widely popular meditation technique that aims to promote inner peace and self-awareness. Shirley McLean's deep interest in New Age spirituality has not only shaped her personal beliefs, but has also left a mark on her career in the entertainment industry.
Several of her film roles have incorporated themes of spirituality and metaphysics, allowing her to explore these topics on the big screen. In the romantic comedy Defending Your Life, Nadar 1991, directed by Albert Brooks and starring Brooks and Meryl Streep, Shirley MacLaine played a pivotal role. In the film, the lead characters, recently deceased and in the afterlife, are astonished to find MacLaine's character introducing their past lives in the Past Lives Pavilion. This unique and whimsical portrayal of the afterlife highlights MacLaine's fascination with reincarnation and past life exploration. The film humorously explores the concept of karma and how one's past lives may influence their current circumstances. Postcards from the Edge, 1990, provided another opportunity for Shirley MacLaine to infuse New Age spirituality into her performance. In the film, she sings a version of the song, I'm Still Here, with customized lyrics by renowned composer Stephen Sondheim. These modified lyrics reflect MacLaine's spiritual inclinations, with lines like, I'm feeling transcendental, am I here? showcasing her interest in the mystical and transcendent aspects of life. This creative collaboration with Sondheim allowed McLean to incorporate her personal beliefs into her character's portrayal. In the 2001 television movie These Old Broads, Shirley McLean's character is depicted as a devotee of New Age spirituality. This role further solidified her association with spiritual themes on screen. The film explores the lives of aging Hollywood actresses and touches on the idea of personal growth, self-discovery, and the pursuit of enlightenment, all of which align with McLean's real-life interests. Shirley McLean's fascination with the subject of UFOs, unidentified flying objects, has been a prominent aspect of her life and public persona. Her interest in UFOs goes beyond mere curiosity. It has led her to openly discuss her experiences and beliefs related to extraterrestrial phenomena. During the years 2007-2008, Shirley MacLaine made headlines for her extensive interviews on major news channels, including CNN, NBC, and Fox, where she passionately shared her views on UFOs and related phenomena. She used her platform to engage in conversations about the existence of extraterrestrial life and to advocate for greater openness and transparency in UFO-related discussions. In her book, Saging While Aging, 2007, McLean delved into her own personal encounters with UFOs and shared her experiences with the world. She described witnessing a UFO incident in Washington, D.C., during the 1950s. This first-hand account provided her with a unique perspective on the subject and further solidified her belief in the existence of extraterrestrial life. One of the most notable moments of disclosure came during an episode of The Oprah Winfrey Show in April 2011. Shirley MacLaine made a bold statement on national television, revealing that both she and her neighbor had observed numerous UFOs at her New Mexico ranch, over extended periods of time. Her detailed accounts of these sightings included descriptions of strange and unexplainable aerial phenomena, sparking intrigue and curiosity among the show's viewers. Shirley MacLaine's involvement in political activism during the early 1970s, particularly in support of George McGovern's campaign for the presidency in 1972, showcased her commitment to social and political causes beyond her career in entertainment. Alongside her brother, Warren Beatty, she played instrumental roles in various aspects of McGovern's campaign. One of the significant contributions made by Shirley MacLaine was her fundraising and organizational efforts on behalf of George McGovern. Her celebrity status and passion for the cause allowed her to raise both funds and awareness for McGovern's presidential bid. Her involvement in these activities extended to her written work, as she authored the book McGovern the Man and His Beliefs in 1972. This book served as a testament to her dedication to promoting McGovern's political platform and ideals. In addition to her literary contributions, Shirley MacLaine actively participated in concerts organized in support of George McGovern's campaign. 
She appeared at her brother Warren Beatty's concerts, Four for McGovern, and Together for McGovern, using her star power to draw attention to the campaign's goals and messages. These events brought together artists and activists to rally behind McGovern's candidacy. One of the most notable endeavors was the production of the woman-focused variety show Star-Spangled Women for McGovern Shriver at Madison Square Garden. Shirley MacLaine collaborated with Sid Bernstein to bring this show to fruition, <sighs> highlighting the importance of women's voices and issues in the political landscape. The event served as a powerful platform to advocate for McGovern and his running mate, Sergeant Shriver. Shirley MacLaine's commitment to political activism in 1972 was so fervent that it took a toll on her acting career. She turned down film projects and invested a significant amount of her own money, approximately $250,000, into supporting McGovern's campaign. When adjusted for inflation to 2022, this amount would be equivalent to approximately $1,749,000. Her dedication was so all-encompassing that her talent agent even threatened to quit due to her extended absence from acting. One aspect of her personal life is her role as the godmother to journalist Jackie Kucinich, the daughter of former Democratic U.S. Representative Dennis Kucinich. This familial connection demonstrates McLean's ties to prominent figures in politics and journalism. In February 2013, Shirley McLean's daughter, Sachi Parker, published her autobiography titled Lucky Me, My Life With and Without, My Mom, Shirley McLean. The book sheds light on Sachi's upbringing and her relationship with her famous mother. McLean publicly responded to the book, dismissing it as virtually all fiction, suggesting a disconnect between her perspective on their relationship and her daughter's portrayal of it. One of the most controversial moments involving Shirley MacLaine occurred in 2015 when she made remarks that garnered widespread criticism. During an interview, she made statements about Jews, Christians, and the renowned physicist Stephen Hawking that sparked outrage. McLean suggested that the victims of the Holocaust were experiencing the results of their own karma, a comment that many found deeply insensitive and offensive. Her remarks implied a troubling lack of empathy and understanding for the historical tragedy of the Holocaust. Furthermore, she made an unusual and medically unfounded assertion regarding Stephen Hawking's health. McLean claimed that Hawking had subconsciously caused himself to develop ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, to enhance his focus on physics. This statement was widely criticized for its insensitivity towards Hawking's medical condition and the broader implications it carried. In a recent interview with Variety, Shirley MacLaine provided insights into her remarkable career and the secrets behind her youthful and healthy outlook on life. Her reflections shed light on the principles and experiences that have shaped her journey. MacLaine attributed her strong work ethic and down-to-earth attitude to her early ballet training, which began when she was just three years old. She emphasized that her training instilled in her the values of discipline, hard work, and honesty. These qualities, cultivated from a young age, have remained integral to her personality throughout her life. Her three-year-old ballet training provided a strong foundation for her career and personal philosophy. Shirley MacLaine also acknowledged that her longevity and vitality in the entertainment industry can be attributed to her unwavering commitment to her craft. She emphasized her dedication to hard, honest work and the infusion of artistic elements into her performances. This dedication to her craft has been a driving force behind her enduring success in show business. One of the remarkable aspects of McLean's career is her continuous presence in the industry without ever seriously contemplating retirement. She humorously mentioned that one of her motivations for staying in the business was to pay for plane tickets to travel. This statement reveals her passion for exploration and adventure, transcending the glitzy and social aspects often associated with Hollywood. McLean's approach to socializing in Hollywood was also unique. 
Instead of engaging in traditional Hollywood-style social activities, she prioritized her love for travel. She mentioned that she preferred to use her earnings to explore countries she had never been to before. This wanderlust and curiosity about the world have enriched her life experiences and shaped her perspective on what truly matters. Ultimately, when Shirley MacLaine reflects on her life, she expresses a deep appreciation for her travels, suggesting that she might even place them above her career in show business. Her willingness to embrace new cultures, discover unfamiliar landscapes, and engage with diverse societies has allowed her to cultivate a broader outlook on life and a sense of fulfillment beyond her Hollywood accomplishments. Shirley MacLaine's approach to life and her contentment in her 89s reflect a unique philosophy and lifestyle that set her apart from the typical Hollywood experience. She attributes her sense of well-being to several key principles and choices that have defined her journey. First and foremost, McLean has consciously distanced herself from the inner trappings of Hollywood. She has maintained a perspective that allows her to remain unfazed by the superficial aspects of the entertainment industry. This detachment from the often tumultuous and egocentric Hollywood culture has contributed to her serene and composed demeanor, in stark contrast to the short-tempered character she portrayed in Steel Magnolias. One of the key elements of Shirley MacLaine's philosophy is her belief that attitudes are a choice. She emphasizes that individuals have the power to choose their emotional responses to life's challenges. This perspective highlights her ability to maintain a sense of equanimity and a positive outlook, even in the face of adversity. MacLaine's approach to life extends to her daily routines and habits. She revels in the simplicity of her existence embracing a philosophy of self-care. She chooses to eat what she wants and sleep when she desires, emphasizing the importance of self-indulgence and self-awareness. This uncomplicated lifestyle contributes to her overall sense of contentment and well-being. A significant aspect of McLean's life is her decision not to keep herself excessively busy. This choice contrasts with the prevailing culture of constant productivity and busyness. Instead, she values moments of solitude and tranquility, which she finds conducive to her happiness. Shirley MacLaine's primary residence in New Mexico is a testament to her desire for solitude and connection with nature. Her ranch in this picturesque location allows her to immerse herself in the natural world, surrounded by animals and the beauty of the environment. She relishes the simple pleasures of her rural lifestyle, finding fulfillment in her harmonious coexistence with nature. What do you think of Shirley MacLaine's present and past life? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.